I have a lot to say about the Ashinese culture, but one thing that really stood out for me was, you know, there's the concept in Islam of, you know, whenever you go to pray, you put your forehead on the floor, and that's like the most honorable part you have as a person. But when I went here, every time I went to someone younger than me, always they take, they take my hand and they put it on their forehead. For me, that's like the ultimate sign of respect. I remember praying uh, in Beit Rahman, I think, and I went to an older person and I put um, uh, his hand on my forehead and his happiness was so static. That's like the, I could talk ages about the culture, but that's the thing that really stood out to me and I really want to bring that over when I come back to Australia, inshallah. Teaching experience, I would say, is like maybe one of the best experiences I've had in my life because I have some experience with teaching in Australia, but here it is a completely different ball game. Because the students here, for us, to, like for me as a teacher, to walk into a classroom and see like a class of like rowdy year three, like maybe 23 kids all jumping and screaming, but the moment you walk into that class, it's pin drop silence, and they are so excited to learn, and that is like the energy they give you as students makes it so easy to teach. And one of the other things that stood out to me was the respect that these students have for their teachers. It's like something I never would have thought I imagined, seeing, you know, my experience in school and teaching in Australia. Um, but here, when you greet the students, they, they grab your hand and they put it on their forehead. And to me, the first time that happened, I was like, I was a little bit startled. I was like, like, what's going on? But, you know, uh, the more I experienced that, the more I became like extremely grateful and appreciative for how much the students actually value their education and their teachers. Family visits. Uh, I just, I just want to firstly say thank you to to all those families that hosted us. Your food was amazing. Uh, thank you for the hospitality and thank you for opening up your houses for 18 boys that were that were very hungry. Uh, but yes, um, so the, the 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 houses that we went to, all of them had um, had very different types of food, Dif different um, how to say, uh, different to usually what we eat. It was loaded with spices which was at first very hard getting used to. But um, afterwards, after, after the second week of, of, of how do I say, uh, staying in Aceh, uh, the food started tasting as delicious as home meals. And um, li like I said, thank you to the, to the families. It's, it's, uh, it's a very different experience um, that, that I've seen for personally when guests come over sometimes it's sometimes you, you and I say you're a bit like I don't, I don't want to say disappointed but you, you're not happy in a sense but these people they were happy every single second to have us there and we were happy to be there and, and it just felt like home. The most important lesson that I've taken from this whole program is the communal effect that Islam has. Uh, I'll give an example, is the Adhan. So in Australia we don't hear the Adhan as much, uh, we don't hear it um, loudly from the mosques. But here it was, it, the invitation to prayer was, 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 was such a different feeling that in the, like, I, I know from everyone, everyone just wanted to uh, pray. As soon as the Adhan went off we would pray. Like, um, but back, Back in Australia, back at home, it was our uh, then kicked in. Okay, I'll, I'll finish this up and then we'll pray. But here, and what I, what you realize from the people is, um, 
you, their prayers are the first priority. As soon as the adhans go off, all the shops close down and the shops aren't allowed to open until everyone has completed their prayer and the time has passed. I had a bag and we went to pray in a place to eat and when I was praying I'm a very forgetful person so I forgot my uh, my bag I take it off when I go to pray when I took it off we went and ate and about five hours later I, I was looking for for my bag when we got to the hotel where's my bag where's my bag I was looking everywhere for it I couldn't find it and the thing was I had my my passport in that bag so I was like oh I guess I'm gonna stay in Aceh for a few more months or maybe years so but we went back, I remembered I took it off when I was praying and it was very amazing to me. Uh, some of my mentors were telling me if I lost my bag in any other city, even Jakarta, I would never have found it. But because I, lo even, I lost it in Aceh, but it returned to me, everything was completely safe. I knew that nothing was even touched. It was, yeah, amazing. Indonesia raya merdeka okay, merdeka. Indonesia. Sorry. 